Yo, what is going down with it once again? Ladies and gentlemen, bros, women, fanboys, and fangirls, especially the Takas Niki Kamoys, and especially talking to all you guys out there. This is the one, the only, of course, Mr. Nintendo 23 2011, aka Manny Wolverine. And of course, you guys are arrested and chosen on social towards this channel. Find me on Twitter, Instagram, all the good stuff. Speaking of Instagram, I ended up uploading this other really old video I had almost a month ago, getting a shiny Celestila from Pokemon Ultra Moon, just in case. For any guys that are not hardcore fans of the core series of Pokemon series, you don't probably know what that is. I only just play Pokemon Go. Highly recommend you play the original core series. But if you were a long time, almost 21 years as a 90s kids fan from day one, from the first generation of Pokemon that came out up to now, you know what I'm talking about. But anyways, I, I had to do a video for this. There was no way in fucking hell I would have never been able to do a freaking video like this one, right? The flip here. So, um, Pokemon Go, the thing was just the other day when this came out. But it says, Trainers, Raikou, or Raikou, whatever you want to say it, is coming as a field research reward on August 1st. We've prepared a comprehensive guide on how to get five Raikou encounters, which CPs to watch out for, and how... To prepare for the encounter. I know a couple other people have talked about this, like people that I follow, like um, DX1, uh, Poke Twan, Sparky Boy, and um, the other really super cute ass girl from Tennessee, um, Poke Girl Seven, and then the one that lives out here in Vegas, um, Pokemon Master Holly. Which, is, by the way, I ever see that chick over here in Vegas, <laughs> that would be pretty kick fucking ass. Cause I think she was, I'm pretty sure she might have been born in Philadelphia or something. I don't know. But this is from the official Twitter account. This is where I got the information from. So. Links down below if you want to see that yourself, and uh, links to the description box down below if you don't want to see me read this whole article that I'm about to spit game at you guys for. So, without further ado, let's begin. Hopefully this thing works, because if not, I am going to be a very, very extremely pissed off camper. Granted, I know this has nothing to do with the Pokemon stuff or Pokemon Go community, but I heard, like, um, just the other day, unfortunately, um, Mr. Felix, Mr. F A.K. freaking PewDiePie, no, granted, I think I saw that video like two months ago he did with um the Anime Man. Because I think he did like a collaboration with them or some shit like that. And then with Aki Deerus. Which I love both of those anime YouTube reviewers. They're awesome. But um, fortunately he made this fucked up joke about um Demi Lovato being almost killed off of heroin and crack and all that shit. Which sucks. It's a bitch. But um, that's just the age of the internet um, of 2018 going on almost 2019 in a couple more months. I don't even want to know how the fuck 2020 is going to end up being. Right now, I'm going to be like freaking 31 by that point, but it won't matter. Anyways, so oh yeah, and the reason why I'm wearing this um, really thick-ass muscle shirt, granted, I'm kind of a big boy flabby motherfucker. I'm not really the most handsomest dude in the world, but it is what it fucking is. Um, I actually came back from the gym about two hours ago. I was off today for work because um, I wasn't really that busy, which is crazy because you would think working on around the strip out here in Vegas, um, it would be busy as shit all the time. But for some reason, it was like almost barely any people. I think it's because I had the night shift that time instead of the day shift. That's why I think they gave me the day off, one of my managers. I don't know, but awesome ass dude. So he's almost like a second older brother. He's awesome. So that's cool. So I ended up going out to the gym for about like two hours. I played a little bit of Pokemon Go. I finally got... My fucking chance to evolve into a damn blister. I had that thing for almost three years straight. Fortunately, it's not a lucky Pokemon. The lucky Pokemon thing I'm not really crazy about. I think it only works if the Pokemon that you had in 2016. Up to, um, what's it called? Um, it's 2017. I don't think they worked for the ones for 2018 with the Pokemon you caught this year. But anyways, yeah. I, if any people don't know, if you haven't been on my channel long enough, you would know. I think this is about my second or my third favorite Pokemon. Maybe fourth. Because um, Zapdos was my first legendary favorite in Gen 1. And then in Gen 2, Gen freaking 2, it was um, probably between Lugia and this one right here, Raikou. And unfortunately, this one, I kind of got swept under the bus because I don't know why the fuck um, Game Freak and Nintendo didn't give um, Raikou its own movie. They only gave it like a three-part special episode, The Legend of Thunder, and that was it. Because um, Entei, he was all right. But then they gave one for Suicune. But they didn't give one for my baby, Raikou. This is like one of my favorite freaking legendaries out of the trio. That is my freaking son right there. 
And unfortunately, when I tried to get it last year, when the whole raid was going on with Gen 2, Pokemon were getting, um, at the time they were getting revealed for Pokemon Go, at, before Gen 3 came out, and probably before Gen 4 comes out, um, I ended up failing this thing twice. Because number one, I think that I was the only dude in the raid. And the second one, there was a bunch of people there, but um, fortunately, I lost that one. I think I only had like six Premier Balls. And I was like, but yeah, enough of me bullshitting and rambling. Yeah, Raikou is a freaking badass. And that's the reason why I probably like the Generation 7 Mythical Pokemon Zero Horror so much. Because it looks like literally a fusion between Lucario and Raikou at the same time. And then their love child will be Zero Aura. Granted, Raiko was uh, gentle as Pokemon, which is weird. I never understood why. They should just, um, I think for Game Freak and uh, Pokemon Company and Nintendo, they need to, um, they seriously need to just make the inanimate object Pokemon the ones that don't have no gender. Make them neutral. And then the ones that have a lot of animalistic beast features or very, like, mammalish features that look like animals that are, like, superpowers, which is pretty much Pokemon, um, I guess you could put Digimon, Dual Masters, and Yu-Gi-Oh! there too, but they still didn't get the heighten of level of popularity or level of, like, relevancy compared to what Pokemon got. What it still is to this day. It's crazy. Um, and I'm like a 29-year-old grown-ass adult man that's still got to pay bills and work for a fucking living, and I still love the crap out of this series. Um, granted, um, and a lot of the trolls, oh, you call me a fucking man-child in one. I don't give a fucking shit. Is like cyberbullying me to, to my ass? It doesn't exist to me. But other than that, um, yeah. Oh my god. And then you got the chance to get it as a shiny? Fuck yes. Let's go. Yes, it says starting August 1st at 1 p.m. I, I rambled on for way too long. You guys could probably just skip up to the 7 minute thing. PM PTD. I think it's Pacific Date Time. I think that's what it is. Raiko will be featured with the weekly researcher's breakdown reward. And I only got one more thing to go, so I'm probably going to save it to, like, Wednesday, which is August 1st, so that way I can get it. So it says on da 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 calculate the time while we're recording. We suggested that using the following Google searches to go get it. So there's this where it says where preparations is at. Hopefully it goes there in time. Select six of the seven research stamps and sit on them until August 1st at 1 p.m. PDT. I think that's Pacific daytime. I'm in the Pacific daytime, so I don't know. I always wonder, is Vegas like West Coast or Southwest? Because back when I was in East Coast in Harlem at the time, when I was still living over there before I moved to New York City. Or New York City. Then it was upstate New York, and then it was Vegas. Um, that was obviously EST. But I haven't, actually, no, let not say I haven't been there. I was just there like two months ago when I went to that family reunion in Boston I had to do for a little bit. But, um... Holy shit, man. I remember it was Eastern Standard Time, but over here, and some, I guess, four hours away from, like, L.A., I'm probably pretty much sure it might be, Vegas might be West Coast. Though. But I feel like it's more Southwest than it's West Coast. That's just my opinion. So let's move on. Um, Prepare complete that I know with the Snorlax. I know you can still get the Snorlax. I already got two of those, so I really don't need it. So it says, da -da -da -da, prepare for a research tax that are one. August 1st, 1 p.m. PDT. Don't worry, we'll tweet when it's a safe to complete the task. Do not touch the field research button before it's safe to collect the seventh stamp. Hell freaking yes. So it says on da -da 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 -da. important dates for completing the research rewards. If you manage to get your first Raikou on August 1st, the following dates will be dates on your next Raikou encounter. August 1st, August 8th, 15th, 22nd. I'm just going to get it the first. I'm not going to wait further and further to do that shit. Fuck that. This method guarantees that you will collect five Raikou, but it makes it impossible to repeat the next, the same thing next month. Given the next research breakthrough, you can be sure that either Suicune, disappointing, or Entei, slightly better in Moltres. Ooh. I didn't say that. They, those guys at the article said it. We don't really think that readers will care much about that. Catching Raikou. As you already know, research rewards will feature level 15 Pokemon that cannot flee. In other words, you in other words, you want to stock, stock up into the two popular items. I got both of those, so I'm good. Don't 
Don't overdo it. Excuse me. Don't overthink it, though. Curve great, excellent throws with a pineapple berry and wait until we're lucky. You could use as little as a few of a berry slash ball combos. Usually what I do is just wait until the thing gets really, really fast. I just spin in a shit ton of times and then I'll throw it. That's how I do it. Any people haven't seen my Instagram videos, you know what I'm talking about. You should watch. Same. Nintendo Sony Free 2012 TCG. If you want to follow me on there or the IGTV. So it says, um, you can encounter a Ryko in the following range. Minimum research encounter CP 1254. Maximum research encounter CP 1435. Okay. So uh, let's go further down. I think that's it after that. Yeah, it's a... Should you be excited for Ryko's research break? Hell freaking yes, I am. You bet your freaking ass. I love the... That is my freaking... If Ryko was a real Pokemon, I guarantee you, I would love that thing like my freaking child. That is my freaking baby right there. I love it. Raikou is currently one of the strongest available Electra types in the game. Dealing damage more reliable than Zapdos. Oh, I didn't know that. As outlined in our Thundershock Zapdos analysis, just how good the Thunder is good, good is Thundershock. There we go. Zapdos may have an, have an edge in terms of DPS, but overall damage is outpost always is on Raikou's most defensely side due to higher defense. All right, you guys can read that part. I really give a shit about the EVs, IV status. That really doesn't, like, um, attract me very much. But, I mean, it's good to know if you guys are doing, like, raid battles and shit, which I don't really do too many of those. I do, maybe, like, one or two out the every three to six months I'll do a couple of them. But they just take up way too much time. That's why I mainly, for Pokemon Go for me, the main two things that matter is, one, completing the decks, which I'm real close to completing the Gen 1 decks. The only two that I need after I got sight there is... I'm going to have to do an international trade because i got to get Kangaskhan and Mr. Mine. And after that, I'm done with Gen 1 um, decks. So I still got to finish Generation 2 and 3, and I'll be finished with that. So, um, yeah, anything else I should know? You guys can read that on your own. Overall thoughts, views, and opinions. This is a bomb freaking tastic freaking, um, what's it called, um, time to be a Pokemon fan. Especially if any of you guys, if any people started off with not just Generation 1, but Generation 2 as well. You know for a fucking fact that this um, the Johto series was probably your favorite, if not the Kanto one. Or Kanto. I don't like saying Kanto. It sounds weird. But as far as that goes, ladies and gentlemen, that's all I got to say for now. Uh, my freaking, um, one of my favorite, my second, maybe my third favorite legendaries is coming back. I finally get redemption after a year because I failed this thing twice in a freaking raise that were going down at that time. And I still got to get Entei and Suicune. As far as this thing goes, on for Pokemon Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon, I know this is an Ultra Sun exclusive, which sucks. So I remember in Wonder Trade, I think in the private trade, I forgot what they're called, um, GTS trade, I had to give up a shiny Rayquaza in order to get um, Raikou, which is okay because I still haven't got the Rayquaza yet in, the, in my copy of Ultra Moon. So I still got a soft reset for him. I know there's that one, Latias Giratina. Um, Thunderous, Suicune, and then, um, who else? Landorus. I still gotta get a Tornadus in order to get, um, Landorus. Because I got the Thunderous, I just gotta get Landorus. And I still got a soft reset for a shiny Thunderous. So there's that. Um, other than that, friends, um, next to Zapdos and Lugia, this is, like, my third favorite ever. And oh my fucking god, I cannot wait to have this in my party. I'm not sure if I'm gonna name, like, a Marvel or a DC, um, DC character name, I don't know. I don't care for now, but I will later. It's only in a couple more days. Oh, as far as the Demi Lovato shit that PewDiePie made a whole bunch of, like, bullshit-ass freaking heroin, coke, cocaine jokes or whatever. I mean, he could get away with it. Man has, what, 63 million subscribers. He's living on this shit like a fucking king. Granted, he might not be as big as Jake Paul or Logan Paul or any of those people. Granted, he fucked up already. That's all I gotta say for now. I'm gonna go out way too much. Oh, and by the way, that Demi Lovato shit's a fine, cute piece of ass. Ever get the opportunity to see her in a concert? If I get a selfie with her, that's cool. Really cute pair of titties, I'm just saying. Peace out once again, ladies and gentlemen, bros, women, fanboys, and fangirls. And of course, as always, talk to the Nikki Komodis out there. I'll see you when I see you guys. Have a good night wherever you're at around the universe out there. I'm just my way at the same time. Talk to the Reckless. Stay tuned more. We do article session reviews like video game news. Anime manga news, internet news, and once the time comes around the corner, I'll do a trap and breeze vlog. Stay safe. Peace out. I'm Ali Sourcars. You guys um take care. Late and goodbye. I will see you all on the flip side.
Take it easy, and my baby Ryko is going to be mine.